Melvin Myers. He's a chef and also fruit sculptor. Yes. <laughs> and he's going to show you some demonstrations about how you can be so creative with fruit and vegetables. And then I have Mr. Michael Lutro, he's a food and beverage manager at Carlisle Bay Resort, the five, six star, ten star <laughs> hotel of at Old Road. And he's going to teach you, um, share some insights, sorry, with you about how you can also be creative in being in the hospitality industry with um, knife and fork, and a whole bunch of things. So I want you to pay attention and ask questions if you like, don't be afraid, okay? And we all of us want to uplift the hospitality and the art industry of Antigua and Barbuda because we realize young people like yourselves are so creative and so expressive. And there's so many ways that you can express yourself and you can do it through food, alright? Alright, so enjoy and pay attention, alright? A very good morning to you all. I mean, very soon, a very good afternoon. So I descend you all using the library of Antigua and Barbuda uh, in town. And you are the ones who are eager to learn uh, a bit of knowledge to be able to have a bright future. Uh, believe it or not, uh, Antigua and Barbuda it's, um, has been a very nice destination for many movie stars in the early 1950s, 1970s, 1980s. So basically, you have been on a map for so long, but in between 2000, I mean 1990, 2000, things starting to slow down because everybody think, you know, working in hotel business, it's a very diminished job. It's not a job where you're going to have a future. But I would like to let you know, basically, uh, the hotel industry in the world is trillions of dollars on term of food and beverage. On a term of food and drinks, people cannot live without food. And people cannot live with a place to shelter. And I believe the future at the moment is something and Barbuda. And I don't know if some of you are watching the news. As you realize, the rest of the world is on a turmoil. Things happening elsewhere. So we have the great opportunity for you young to be able to show people it is okay to come into our place, we have a peaceful place, and also we have a place you could give some skills and could give, you know, some uh, appetizing way to welcoming people uh, without a doubt. You have the chef uh, 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 who's going to show you some demonstration here. You have myself, I, you could ask me any question if you wish to do so on terms of food and beverage. I start at very early age, I started at 13, and in the end of the day, I am nearly 50 <laughs> next year, so I think it's around 37 years of experience. Mm -hmm. I understand some of you could be bored sometimes with, you know, the everyday life, but please do not feel bored. Do not feel any question is a stupid question, okay? There is no stupid question in life. Any question could be a question. And in the end of the day, uh, you maybe don't know because you say, well, I'm 14, I'm 13, I don't know what I'm going to do. Me don't want to do this, me don't want to do that. But I would like to let you know, um, when I used to work in London or some other places I work, uh, some of my waiters and waitresses used to be future doctor, future uh, uh, people. I mean, some of them, they are general manager, we hotel now. Some of them, they are artists. Some of them, they are actors. Some of them working. Hollywood, anyway, it's just a path of life where you could start in with something you have passion on and obviously you could graduate and get into something different. So it's a path of your life where you could have a great opportunity to make some money and to be able to go further education and you could get a greater person. But of course it's a fabulous path and you have the opportunity to have the best hotel in Antigua and Barbuda and you could be able to fulfill that and to get to a bridge where you are able to fulfill your desire. What I should say is a good afternoon to everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, so, following up what Mr. Michael said, he actually gave you the administration part of it, but I'm also going to give you some practical work. Basically, what you see here, this is some of the display what I have done. And it is very interesting to, for me to work along with kids, because I have kids of my own. And what really inspired me more than anything else, 
I have four kids, and they all play a different role in my business. So I have a daughter who is 19 years old. She's a writer. She's studying journalism. I have a son. is a photographer. He's 19 years old, and he's doing photography and recording. A five-year-old son of mine, at the age of five, he already started doing what I am doing. I know he says to me, he said, Daddy, I want to be better than you. So that for me, that's a big compliment. So, uh, so just like they start at this age, I know we are very, very talented, and I, I'm making some big moves around the world. I just came back from Africa, and I want to start my culinary school in Africa. But well, you know, I said to myself, why start in Africa and forget about our kids in Antigua? So I came down specifically, thanks to Mrs. Francois, she set up some appointments to have you guys here, so I can actually impart you with the knowledge that the Lord has blessed me with. So most of what you see here, I've never gone into a school, a classroom. I have no formal training. I've got some ideas. I've been mentored by a young man back there. Even you get a chance to see him. But by the time I was being mentored by him, I realized I have a specific and a special gift that was given to me by God. And I took it and I ran with it. So anything you see here, as they did, they did, they did do some of the teaching in classes, but I took it from the basic level and I add additional things to it. So like from this, a bunch of fruits and veggies. There's so much you can do. So when you guys leave, I don't want you to look at it just to be okay, just a mango, just a potato. There's so much you can do for it. Creativity starts with you. So like from this, an apple. So you can come a little bit closer. So from an apple, there's some things you can do with an apple. Can anybody tell what I'm making? Let's get some lemon juice. Can anybody tell what I'm going to do with the lemon juice? Why am I spraying it? I mean? Ascent. Ascent, you said? Ascent, you said? Just keep the color from changing. Oh, most certainly. Not only just keeping the color from changing, but bacteria does not go on nothing acid. So all these pieces can stay out for a period of time. So that's one object. Once upon a time, those type of skills used to be done magically by the Chinese and the Asian. And as you can realize, it is accessible for the people in the Caribbean and also people in Africa. So, in the end of the day, uh, it's not only Chinese and Japanese doing those type of skills. We are able to achieve that as well. So, it is very important to see the way he is skillfully cutting those fruits and vegetables to be able to copycat that and to be able to achieve this type of level. Wow. So from this, I'm going to build a bouquet of flowers. So the first piece you saw was an apple, a pepper. So this 
speak the Hebrew to me the photo. I'm not through with it yet. This is a mango. Mango, mango. So as I said, this is just a piece. I'm not even through yet. So as I cut, and as I cut, that's my creativity starts to come into play. So most of the time, I start with just doing the basic stuff. But with the base, you can always add on to the basics. I'm a person that is not very good with colors too. So it's not only just a four or something like this. But I can always add things like grapes. I can add grapes. I can add different selection just to present and make it a nice bouquet. So these are some of the basic stuff that I really want to show you guys. Not only that, tomorrow. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to be at the, um, the Mervyn Church, and I will be doing a workshop with kids, so you guys are welcome to come. So it's going to be an intense kind of course, so we're going to do Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, so you get a closer chance and see much more of what I do, and also get a chance to participate. It's free, it's wide open to everybody, so if you have that time, you can come in, it's start from 10.30 in the morning, the first session until 12, and from there we go on from 6 until... Seven in the afternoon session. What is this? Yes, so I use tropical fruits in season. 
So I will use things like pumpkins, I use tomato. So this was just what we have found around here. So we just said, let's get something creative with it. So I never put my limitation to foods. Any more questions? Does everybody know how to cook? Yeah. You tell me what you're cooking? <laughs> what do you what do you cook? Anything. Yeah. Anything. What do you mean anything? What tell me one? <laughs> tell me one thing. <laughs> Sorry? Fry rice. How do you do fry rice? Anybody else know how to cook? Yeah. What do you do? Do you do noodles? Yes? Do you have to smile? <laughs> noodles, yes? Go ahead, don't worry about anybody else. That's it? Honey mustard chicken. This is a very interesting one. This is a future chef there. Honey mustard chicken. Honey mustard chicken. Go ahead. How do you do that? Who here is very artistic? Who here can draw? Who here can sketch it? 